Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today, we are doing our Let's Play All the Divisions with the third Fulshamjäger. And we are here on this new map. I can't pronounce it. Uh, I'm playing, the obviously, the third Fulshamjäger. And, oh, a perfect matchup. The other overpowered airborne division, the sixth airborne division for the Allies. Very cool. All right. So, I gotta say, I am not super good at this map. I've only really played there once. Only really played here one time. It was during a league game, and that league game did not go super well. Hmm. So, his infantry are definitely better up close than mine. But mine are definitely better far away. Alright, so we're gonna start, we're gonna have sharpshoots a... I want to get in this church tower for the eyeballs. I want to see things. I want to know what he's doing. Then anti-tank wise, I'm going to get a pack 38 to cover this road right here, but I need to put him right there so that he can only he only starts he can only be seen at 1500 meter range and only sees that far cuz he doesn't need to see further. So that's that. I don't have any machine guns. So I could definitely, yeah, I like that. So we're going to get an LG-42. Very strong support gun. One of the best in the game. Pretty definitively. And this can help cover off this road. I think it's heat shells are, are 1,500 meters. So I think that'll be really good. I would like another one. LG-42, I mean. Like right there would be a nice spot for it. Now, I do want two Flammenwerfers over here. I'm not expecting really to get... I mean, it'd be cool to get this flag. I don't expect to. I'll do a little plug here. See if my SPW can't... Uh, Get mean over here. Now the problem is he has a lot of light tanks. So uh Little Dawn, Tetrax, so on and so forth. So if I run into any of those over here there, um he will he'll be able to easily kill my SPW. I'm gonna deploy the full shimmers a little further back because I really don't want them to get killed. And then, I'd love to be able to grab this flag. I think that's really reasonable. Like a, a realistic place for me to get. So, I'm going to go just just the one. But then I'm going to go Sturmjäger and a Fallschirmjäger. If I get off the road fast enough, I should be fine. I hope. I can also do yeah. I don't want to leave this area like totally unguarded it's a bad play I do want to get into this area though the problem is it's really hard to hold that area actually so maybe I don't care hmm well, let's get the full make the uh, flamers in at least. No, nope, we'll just send two. Actually, I'm gonna send the second one because I actually really want that middle spot. And if I really want it that bad, I should send more stuff, which I am now doing. And then, I don't, I don't really have support. Uh, like machine guns, heavy machine guns. So I'm just going to use... My Fulsham Jaegers are honestly kind of close <laughs> to being machine guns in terms of raw firepower. I call in a leader. I want to try to have that. I'd love to have the, uh, the veteran C advantage. I do probably need an anti-tank over here. 
I don't feel super comfortable having nothing at all. And this is a good... That'll be good right there. Mm. Okay, and then... I want to Sturm Jaeger. I deploy him right here. Not to be aggressive, but to have a half-decent line of sight. Go two Pioneers. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Almost. I'm actually going to call Stug in here. Uh, what I definitely should have done is probably brought in some AA. Oh. I really wish I had... I mean, against, against Sixth Airborne, this is probably not enough. Hmm. Could have called in another sharpshooter. Probably should have. Oh well. Let's see if we can't get into position first. Go, 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 go. This is a rough turn here because you got to like bend around. Kills a lot of time. I want to make sure I turn off APCR immediately so this guy will actually kill transports. He's calling in smoke already. Unload, unload. Kill him, we gotta kill him. He's the most dangerous thing, actually. Oh! Pet tracks everywhere. These guys have AT? No, they don't. Push these guys forward. I can't just let him have all the momentum here. Got to get this Volshmiger in position. Currently a 12-12. I'm missing this point. Okay. Oh, he just like grenaded him to death. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Got to push forward here. He, he still has oxen bucks there, I believe. I'm actually going to cross here, try to put him in an awkward spot. This is not a good fight for me, so I'm just going to fall back. Got to get a puption in here. That'll definitely do some work there. Let's get a puption over here, too. That can definitely do something. Get my last... Pioneer here. I really wish one of these guys had AT. That is really killer at this second in time. Are these out of the hundred? That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually would prefer that. Come on. There we go. That's good. That's delightful. You right there. Stop. Let's call in a Fulshamjäger here. This is definitely good. Let's get a Fulshamjäger over here. I think I took out those tanks. 
I want you to go here to lock this down. So that, that little bulge, oh, oh, that bulge is dangerous. Okay. That bulge's dangerous there, so we definitely have to do something to take care of that. Now this is where, hopefully, oh, oh, here we go. I don't know if I win this fight. I really don't want to head on his his planes because they are medium resilience. That makes them way dangerous to head on. Come on. Now luckily he didn't kill anything that like precious to me if I'm being honest. I'm going to push this guy forward. I think we can get him get forward get legs we're gonna call a pupshin right here I gotta really make sure I take advantage of my pupshins that this is really good for them sweet get in there let's call on another one along with a recon because he won't be able to see it got a nice 15 9 here I don't know if I actually got him or not Oh, I cannot believe my SPW took him out. Let's take advantage of this. Go, go, go. Oh, I happen to have an FS Jaegers just standing around here. Delightful. My pup should no. Oh, oh well. I got another one coming in. Great timing. Another mosquito. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go fast. Fast move here, and then Q attack across. Get in there. So I'm actually going to put these right here so they're in Panzerfaust range whenever uh, he shows up. I'm going to, I think I'm going to deploy, yep, an 88 right here, I think is the place. This is still a great position for this. I definitely want to do that. Unfortunately, he's kind of like pushed that into that spot, so I can't really like get him there. That's kind of annoying. Oh, that's gonna be really annoying. Not gonna lie. He's just flying it around there. Now, the cool thing is, I have already gotten the guy in past that, so. Nyah, nyah, nyah. I would prefer this guy up here, so we're going to push him up there. We're going to move this guy forward. When you can move forward, move forward. There's really no reason not to. Let's get him into this position. See if we can't... Oh! Truthfully, wasn't really paying attention there. Happens, though. This is great. When I can catch elite units out like that, that's delightful. Ooh, see, you can hop out really fast sometimes and, and sometimes get away with dodging uh, uh, grenades like that. It feels good when it happens. So he's still not uh, reloaded. Come on. This is not a good range for the Fulcher Meagers, I will say that. I think he just got a grenade off. No, apparently he did not. Oh, well. Killed the glider crews, that's cool. That's unfortunate, but hey, that's okay. Got a 16-8 still here. I don't know if I took out that dude, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna guess I did, honestly. And we're gonna call this guy in here. Oh, we're we're still at it. Since we have the advantage here right now, I'm actually just gonna call this in. And call another Fulcrum Jaeger here. Uh, I did, I do think I was able to take out that unit there. I'm actually going to set this up right here. I think that's the place to go. I If I put it, so before I put it in this woods, and the problem is he just gets shot from whatever's in that woods across there. So that, that doesn't really work. Tank's covering the road. It's a little bit exposed, but it's all right. It'll work. Now what I can do 
it's get my I, I can't buy it but maybe I'll just buy a small thing um, and try to bomb that forest there that clearly has uh, you know that clearly has something in it holding holding that I can't all right so if I want this I can't do that all right this is this is a kind of a bold move it's not really necessary but if I can grab that flag for freebies I'm going to Oh, I got this pioneer chilling here. That's cool. All right, let's see if we can catch that glider crew out. Still got a really strong 16.8. Lost my SPW. That's okay. He did work. He did what I, he needed to do. Did it very well. I don't think I killed anything. That's okay. Like I said, that was a little aggressive. I would like another, at least an infantry squad here to kind of seal this off a little bit. Oh, we're doing really well here. We are. We're, we're doing... Things are going really well. He's calling glider crews. Which are absolutely no match for my Fulcherjägers. Now, something is obviously coming here. Perhaps... Just kind of an out-in-the-open thing here. And we're going to call in some Luftwaffe-Jägers. And we're actually going to call one of these guys. These can be, they're uh, AT squad recon, really strong uh, because they're so big. They have a bazooka, obviously. If you can hide them behind, whew, oh, they can be dangerous. Oh, that's good. Because the second he hops in this building and he starts, like, getting into it with these guys, they're already, like, almost suppressed, which means he'll, like, insta pin down like this and boom, capture. Really easy. So now that I've established like this really, I was able to push early and establish this really strong line. Now I want to make sure that basically I engage them at distances I want to engage him at. Like I want to, I want to be making, I want to make them fight me at ranges here, at longer ranges, because that's where I have the like the very distinct advantage. I'm gonna try to get a Fulcrum Pioneer here. Kind of grab that. Unload when you get there. We're gonna call another sharpshoot set to go in this church again, because I do like the sight line it gives you. And I'm gonna call my last Sturm, uh, Sturmjäger in here to kind of cover this off. Because what, you know, what the obvious thing to do is to kind of push through this forest, try to recapture this town. So what do we got going on here? Oh, I never unloaded my 88. Bad, bad player, bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, he retreated. Get on its back. Oh, yay! It's just a machine gun. That's all this is here. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's what. That's why it's very confusing. All I need to do is call in this, this thing here. Hoorah! Let's call in another Stug. And another Pupchen. Because, again, this is just, like, really tight. So, th that's, where, that's where the Pupchen really, like... It really shines in this range. This is dangerous. Like, don't misunderstand. Little Johns and Tetrarchs and stuff, they are dangerous to Stugs. Like, it's not like they ain't. Let's check over here quick. That's good. Grab this flag now. Very nice. Got these guys in position. And we're going to go right here like this. So if he... You know, calls in any kind of tank or anything. This should be a very easy win fight for me. I mean, AB pairs are good. They got this double double automatic rifle, but they're absolutely no match, especially since they were in the range of the heavy machine gun. I'm actually this, this is gonna seem really aggressive, but the fact of the matter is, I need to kill those things. They're actually extremely dangerous. So it to me it's worth um it's worth sacrificing this Fulcherjäger to stop him from getting to to kill these two things. It really is. So I do not mind sitting here and having him die to kill those. There we go. Love it. 
Yeah, that that's absolutely worth it to me. Anti-airwise, I'd like to call another flak right here. Kind of just lock this down. Go move this Flammenwerfer. I, I know what he's doing here. Run away, run away. Call another flak. Once I get enough 88s in, I'll kind of like just lock him out. Let's call another Folschmjäger. Unfortunately, Luftwaffe-Jägers don't have um, AT. Oh, that is not the fight I wanted you to be in. That I did not want. I want you over here killing this thing. Unless these guys can get it just fine. Boom, that'll work. Okay, let's move this guy over, help out these Shermjägers a little bit. And he is calling it there. See what we got going on here. Okay, what do you say? Best is. So there we go. Going up against another one of the really strong divisions. Definitely, uh, I, I don't think he was. Well, let's see. Maybe. Well, he's got some games under his belt. But he's definitely a newer ish player. Definitely a newer ish player. And I was able, you could see, I wanted to be able to establish positions forward and then use my unit's superior range weapons to just basically squeeze them out. Um. You know, as long as I stayed out of like hardcore forest fights, other than my pioneers, um, it's it's hard to it's hard to lose with these guys at those ranges. The infantry are just so strong, even against the Sixth Airborne, which have really strong infantry. I think he probably could have pushed a little harder with his airplanes. Uh, that's obviously one of the one of the the, the highlights of Sixth Airborne it, is their really strong air stuff. But overall, I like I was able to catch out his oxen bucks, which are really strong close range infantry. Could easily go toe to toe with my pioneers, um, you know. And and he used his tanks pretty aggressively, which allowed me to take them out. His tanks are actually really dangerous. They're light tanks with with medium tank guns, so they're they're cheap, but they kill stuff really easily. So yeah, good game to him. Uh, this was the third Falschmeier. How to play with this division? I hope you enjoyed. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button and drop a like as well. Have a fantastic day.